Volcanoes evoke visions of explosive eruptions, smoking peaks, and creeping rivers of molten lava consuming the land. It's hard to fathom life thriving in or around these imminent threats, but it's not only humans who reside in these perilous locations. Some animals have also adapted to these hazardous environments. Without delay, here are the 10 notable animals inhabiting the realm of volcanoes. Number 10. Microorganisms Microorganisms are everywhere, hiding in our soil, chilling in the snow, and even buried miles inside the earth. But did you know that they can survive inside volcanoes too at 95.5 degrees Celsius or 204 degrees Fahrenheit? The volcanic hot springs of Yellowstone National Park are just about boiling. You and I could be badly burned or even killed if we went swimming, but the water is just right for a little organism called Clostridium paradox. Using special enzymes that thrive in heat, Clostridium paradox are able to keep their DNA from unraveling in temperatures that would melt our flesh in seconds. This allows them to act as a food source other species simply cannot at this point. They're so well adapted that they don't just tolerate the hot water. They need it to survive they, and other heat-loving thermophiles build the foundation for volcanic ecosystems. These tiny but mighty creatures could even provide us with clues about what kind of life can survive on other planets. Scientists have discovered similar microbes on the Strait of Volcano, Luco, and surrounding mountains in South America an area that is considered to be the most Mars-like place on Earth. Number 9. The Happy Face Spider Arachnophobia is one of the most common phobias on the planet. With somewhere around 50% of women and 18% of men positively petrified of spiders, but forget the hairspray flamethrower for this creepy crawly, because Hawaii's happy face spider is no stranger to heat. While they don't technically live inside nature's hotspots, these cheerful little creatures can indeed be found flashing. There are smiles in the rainforest that grow down the sides of active volcanoes. They can live in this dangerous place because nature has a way of taking care of itself when disaster strikes, and a volcanic eruption is a disaster if there ever was one. In this case, the cooling lava creates a rich medium for plants to grow. The forest, in turn, attract a healthy insect population that provides ample hunting opportunities for this benevolent bug. They hide on the backs of leaves waiting for a snack to come along. Sometimes lava comes along instead with a happy face spider faces its perilous lifestyle with a smile. Number 8. Pyrococcus furiosus The well-named Pyrococcus furiosus, a hyperthermophile that was first discovered off a volcano island in Italy. Basically, this is a microscopic organism that likes things in its environment to be really, really hot. This particular creature thrives in temperatures between 70 and 103 degrees Celsius, that's 158 to 217 degrees Fahrenheit for those of us not using the metric system. Now, you might be wondering why evolution would intentionally set any species down such an extreme path but it makes sense when you remember that volcanoes. What comes out of them are some of the most nutrient-dense substances on Earth. This enhanced food source not only supports greater populations, but also allows them to have an unusually fast reproductive cycle. Every 37 minutes, the number of Pyrococcus furiosus doubles, and that means some seriously fast population growth, but it gets even cooler, or should I say hotter. As far as humans are concerned, this little spitfire is pretty useful, especially in the creation of new heat-resistant crops. So basically, this is a sea creature that could help plants need less water. How awesome is that? Number 7. Volcano Rabbit Every year on the 14th day of Casada, a group of people in Java offer up sacrifices to the gods by throwing offerings of fruit, vegetables, and even actual living livestock into an active volcano. The volcano rabbit can thank its lucky stars that it lives 9,500 miles away in Mexico. This south of the border native is the last animal you'd expect a profit from, volcanic activity. This mammal is tiny as the second smallest rabbit species in the world. It tops out at just over a pound. It also happens to be endangered and endemic species. 
This rabbit lives nowhere else but Mexico, specifically between and around four volcanoes that guard Mexico City. It might not seem like the smartest of choices, but this rabbit prefers higher altitudes and thrives on the nutrient-rich vegetation the volcanoes provide. Number 6. Sixgill Stingray The Sixgill Stingray is a pale purple goblin-looking creature with you guessed it Sixgill, not one to be easily outdone. This animal happened to be one of the larger organisms found living happily inside the mouth of an active volcano off the coast of Papua New Guinea. There were also crabs, fish, and even other sharks dwelling there. Scientists can only speculate on how so many species could survive in such a hostile environment. The waters are so murky with boiling toxic fumes that if you could survive there, you'd barely be able to see a few inches in front of your face. Yet the Sixto Stingray lives hunts and even gives birth in this hot water live birth. To be exact, that means that there are tiny six-gill stingray pups cruising through some of the most acidic waters of the ocean, but you can bet they're a lot safer from predators in that water than nearly anywhere else in the world. Talk about adaptation before I reveal the next example. You should subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled videos daily. Also, make sure to click the bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 5. Polycheta Worm Worms and predators are not usually two words. We associate as existing together, but the Polycheta Worm is definitely an exception. Not only is this shimmering rainbow invertebrate an accomplished hunter, but this creature is so intense that it lives in water that fry most other creatures, but Polycheta are as tough as nails. These underwater champions have existed for over 500 million years and have lasted through five mass extinctions to get where they are today, even knowing that it's hard for us lowly humans to imagine just how hot the Polycheta worm's day truly is. They literally sit at the open vent of an underwater volcano. It'd be like sitting with your legs in a giant boiling pot of water. Now do that every day and still catch your food plus avoid being eaten by other bigger and better creatures, and you might just come close to what the polycan worm goes through each day. Number 4. The Bosavi Woolly Rat Papua New Guinea is literally known as the land of volcanoes, so it's not surprising that its wildlife is both resilient and outstanding. On occasion, this unique environment produces creatures that leave the rest of the world scratching our heads. Giant rats, for example, discovered first on the sides of one of the more dormant volcanoes. The Basavi woolly rat is the size of your average house cat, but if the idea of such a humongous rat gives you the creeps, then you can rest easy. Knowing that this particular member of the rodent family is apparently quite laid back and friendly, as its name suggests, it's covered in soft woolly hair. Not much is known about the species, but it did seem to be taking advantage of the volcanically fertilized vegetation. Between a well-established food source and the isolated region in which it lives, it's hardly a surprise that this singularly large rodent exists. Number 3. Sharks Sharks are one of the most prolific groups of animals to ever grace the face of our planet. They've existed in some form since before the dinosaurs, and it's no secret that they're adaptable survivors in a vast array of environments. According to PhD student Brendan Phillips, this includes on top of an active underwater volcano. The water was literally so hot that Phillips and his team had to drop special cameras tied to weighted bags into the ocean just to get some idea of what was going on down there. But all that hard work was worth it because not only did they see all kinds of sharks, crabs, and fish darting between erupting towers of smoke, but they caught the third ever and clearest footage of the elusive sleeper shark. Now the footage itself was mind-blowing enough, but it becomes almost unbelievable when you take into account the fact that they were filming at the Solomon Islands. Sleeper sharks are normally found near Japan, Antarctica, and sometimes Tasmania. So this incredible animal was about 2,000 miles south of its known range. Number 2. Loi Shrimp Searing hot plumes of acidic smoke spew a constant boiling eruption off the coast of Guam. This bad boy is massive, we're talking a volcano the size of a city block and 12 stories tall. 
The water is so polluted that the bodies of marine animals who swam too close litter the ledges around the opening. There are a few species living in this poisonous soup, but the biggest contenders here are the low he shrimp. These extreme survivors use the inhospitable environment as protection against predators. Their front pinchers have evolved into gill-like filters that aren't much used for self-defenses, but are perfect for taking advantage of the bacteria-rich waters. That's one cool crustacean. Number one, pink slug. When we talk about slugs, many of us think of a garden terracotta pots and crunchy wet lettuce. What most people outside of Sydney don't imagine is a 20 centimeter or eight inch long neon pink slug chugging its way up the side of a volcano. The pink slug is a unique species of giant land snail that exists solely on a dormant volcano in New South Wales 17 million years ago. The volcano's eruption decimated the area, leaving only pockets of rainforest like terrain where the pink slug could survive. This resourceful creature has existed since Earth was still one continent that's about 180 million years of survival, but now they might actually be going extinct, and it's not what you think. Their decline in numbers isn't caused by the volcano itself. Changes in the environment due to global warming are drying out the slug's normally moist habitat. The New South Wales Scientific Committee is trying to get them listed under the Threatened Species Conservation Act. But progress is ironically slow. Which animal did you think was the craziest? And would you consider living near an active volcano? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.